are now on our way from Lugamka and we are going to drive to Beaufort West and we are going to go look for some springbok and we're going to look for some blowvillebeers some gemsbok maybe um, yeah, we'll take it from there. O'Reilly's really excited because he's got some friends flying in from Cape Town. So for the main reason for this weekend's hunt was to take the kids on a little bit of an adventure and to teach them that the meat that we consume doesn't come from your everyday shop or pick and pay or Woolworths. You can carry it on your shoulder like a, so like a soldier. Right? Oh! oh! I've got it on video, Josh. What are you guys making a fort? You can get some bush. Bush is quiet. What are you guys doing in there? We made our own little fort in battle. Yes! Ah, right. Oh, yeah. 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 my boys. That makes that happy. And now we got to look. Yes. Let's go. go. Find that buck of Uncle Tony's. Come, Mace. Whoever gets him first might get a treat or something. I can see it. I can oh, see it. Oh, you got him, Mace. Okay, show the boys what do you do now. You know what we do now. Oh, yeah. Give them this show first them, meal. Show the guys. He was always giving the box his first meal. Last meal. Mine also. Last meal of fashion. Give him his last meal. And then, and then, and then, and then Riley, what do we do? Say so thank, thank you for letting us hunt you. Yes. Because we really like and appreciate the meat that you've given us. What is that? Scout. From what? Buck. What kind of buck? Look at me. A spring buck. Yes, it's a spring buck. It's hot. That is so good. What do you think, Tony? It's like a bit hot. My one's not a medium. Mine's definitely a hot. Nice though. Ah, oh, this is cut. so cut. nice. Yeah. Must go to 10, eh? Remember? Yeah. There we go. Turn it. Nice job. Oh, careful, careful. Put it down. Yes, good job. Come on, me. I eat that chicken. Oh, 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 yeah. Chicken, chicken. Careful, everyone. Careful, everyone. So, tell them what we're going to do today. What are, hunting? Hunting? what are we hunting? I can't say it though, my dad. Try. Blow the beast. Blow the beast. Blow the beast. I've never hunted a blow the beast, so looking forward to it. And then there's a bit of a sunrise. by the farmer there's a born to walk that is causing a bit of shit and he's past his breeding time so I'm I'm going to go on a bit of a stalk never nice to take out an animal that is not endangered but of such pure bread and well looked after and everything like that but this buck's way past his breeding age he's um, fighting with the up-and-coming guys and the thing with born to book is they don't play games they just they kill um, cows or ewes they don't that they don't know they're actually quite vicious when it comes to their the born to book and their family that was quite a stalk got him in the end at about 200 meters and then just um didn't want him to suffer so i put another one in it's cold the kids are sleeping 
We feel like some sausage. We shot Springbok yesterday. They've been able to process some sausage for us. And um, I happen to have a sample of that. So we're gonna start a fire and we're gonna buy some of the Springbok sausage that we made. All you do is let it all melt into a ball. Once the ball's going, then you pack little pieces of wood on top of each other, like so. And then we'll, there we go. Look at that. It's an old army trick I learned from a friend of mine. And that's how you make a fire with a little piece of plastic and a lighter. This is the, the sausage that was neatly packed for us quickly. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Portion size. Perfect portion sizes. Guys, this is homemade. Springbok. Homemade Springbok sausage. You're getting cold. It's amazing. 30% cool fat content he uh, put in there. That's good. Didn't let it hang for long enough, but at least we got some meat that's uh, Did you have a good time, Josh? Thumbs up.